right now. Two families are trying to make sense of an early morning crash. 19 mm. News covered the breaking news all morning long. Thanks for joining us now first at four. I'm Nicole Versansky. And I'm Brian Duffy. 77 was shut down for hours as police tried to figure out what exactly happened there. First at four, Brittany, we're live now with new information. Brittany, what can you tell us? And two people were sadly killed this morning in a crash right here off of I-77 in Independence. 29-year-old Johnny Brooks and 32-year-old Shaney Stutler. They were standing outside of their car on the side of the road when Independence police say a tractor trailer hit them. Chestnut overpass for a overturned semi. The calls came in around 12.30 Friday morning. I-77 South in Independence, a three-car crash. One of the vehicles involved, driven by Christopher David, slammed into the median and went off the road. Johnny Brooks of Wadsworth and Shaney Stutler of Rittman, who happened to be parked on the side of the highway for an unknown reason, got out of their car to check on him. That's when a semi came by and crashed into all three of them. The semi overturned, semi truck is trapped inside, three people on the ground. Maria Moyet, who lives near where the crash happened, says it sounded like a car went through her house. Scared, definitely hearing that noise and vibrations, yeah. Police had to shut down the highway for six hours to investigate and clean up the debris. Moyet says seeing the wreckage was very scary. There's small crashes or, you know, people getting pulled over, but we haven't seen anything this extreme. Sadly, both Stutler and Brooks died in the crash. Davis was rushed to Metro with serious injuries. The driver of the tractor trailer was taken to the hospital with minor injuries and later released. And according to police, this crash is still under investigation. But they say if you're ever involved in an accident, to stay inside your car until emergency crews get there to hopefully avoid tragedies like this one. Reporting live in Independence, Brittany Weir, 19 News.